Let's play a short game. Who is tall girl? Who is this fish? And who is that girl? This is not helpful. Inside my Witcher there are so many profiles and their nicknames keep changing all the time with animal photos and cartoons. We are going to fix it. In this video we are going to edit, tag and manage your contact collection, making it as efficient as possible. I met Rita in Chongqing Tourism Congress in 2019. I am very pleased that I changed her contact information inside the edit contact. Her edited nickname, Funny Rita, helps me to remember who is she, and I also added her photo and details in the description. Hi, my name is Neta and this is another Witch tutorial. In my channel, I am going to show you how to create, boost and manage your social media activity inside the Chinese world using WeChat and other research tools. I made a detailed video just for you about editing and tagging, your privacy settings, your profile review, managing your contact list. Okay, now open WeChat and give me a like. It's fun! Follow me step by step how to edit contact card. Go to me, my contacts. Select the contact you would like to edit. Press on edit contact. Let's update the name. Write in front of his name a good description. You can start with a job title such as travel agent. To pick it quickly, tag. You can add a person to a tag group by choosing a tag or creating a new tag by pressing on new. If you have this person mobile number, you can add it here. In the description, you can write as many details as you want about how did you met this person and how can you cooperate with him in the future. You can also add the person photo right here. Now go back to the contact profile and press on the three dots above for more great options. Before we continue, I want us to stop for a few moments. Not just for liking this video, but also I want you to take a notice. In China, name cards are important. After the first conversation with a fellow agent, you can see I am handling him my name card. Hold the name card in your hand and give it to the viewer with two hands. If you are receiving a name card, treat it respectfully. Hold it in front of you during the conversation. If there are many people around, I prefer to write down all the details I get on the name card. When the conversation ends, don't stuff it in your wallet or pocket. Better to have a small name card holder with enough space. Then I will be asking, can I add you to my WeChat account and later add them as a new contact? And if it's possible, I will ask to take a photo of this person, maybe even together. At the end of the day, I will edit all the contact I have collected. I will send a short message with a summary of our conversation or even just a smiley face. It was nice to meet you today. Back to our business. It is time to go over the contact card privacy settings. Go to the profile and press on the three dots above and then press on privacy. You can mark this person if you want him to see your chat moments and share the apps or chats only. You can hide your post or hide this person post. Share contact. By pressing on a share contact, you can share this contact profile and send it to other contacts. You can add this person profile to your home screen. This is a great feature for chats you want to follow up. Pressing on add star will mark this contact as starred and it will be displayed on the top of your contact list when pressing on block, you will not see any content from this person. You can report account if it has arresting content, fraud, or this account may be compromised. I want to review more details inside the contact profile. To have here the option moments, pressing on it will get you directly to his last published post. By pressing on more, you can see if you both got a group in common. WhatsApp. This is the information below our profile photo. From. This will remind you how did you connect it to this person by adding his contact card, ID or mobile. I just find this famous blogger in my contact list. I'm so glad that I tagged him under the tag blogger and added a photo with him so I remember where I met him exactly. Oh, this is my profile. My previous video was all about your profile. You should definitely check it out. Finally, it's time to manage your contact list by using tags. Tags will help you to remember who is this person. Also, my best recommendation is to at least double tag. This profile, for example, have few tags, Roadshow 2019, Agent and Wine Expert. The easiest method is to open a tag under a congress name. That way you will know the contacts related to this congress meeting. If you wish to view all your tags, go to contacts, press on tags, 
Now you can view all the list of your tags by tapping on a tag. You can also add a new tag, press on new tag category. Now add the contacts to this tag. Don't worry, those contacts will not know you tag them. Now choose a nice name for this tag. Well done! After tagging, go to the person profile and you will notice all the tags below the privacy section inside this person profile. Now you can start tagging and make your contact list as clear as possible. Thank you for watching, have a great day and Sai Jian!